Hello there, my little Rim Rims. <laughs> Welcome to the adventures of Robo Daddy. Uh, today, we're about to start off with a big fuck off raid in about 10 hours' time. I've got a big list of complaints from yesterday's comment section because the comment section are never happy with anything I do in my entire life. So we've got, uh, to be honest, it's, it's kind of irrelevant stuff. It's not relevant stuff, but it's stuff that would just kind of be nice rather than our essential. We've got seven things to consider. One thing I've done is let him blitz a little bit more research because you kind of remember I left them off with a big task yesterday of paving over this entire thing, which has since been finished. And I set up Robo Daddy with a shitload of research, like a disgusting amount of research. So I've left him doing that. One important thing we have finished is high tech multi barrel bionic weaponry body parts. So we can now fulfill the the original dream of Robo Daddy, one of our one of our first episode dreams of having Voitech, the golden eyed cigarette addict. With a minigun coming out of his arms. I'm in. I've, I've never been more in. That's a goal for today. Have a fully automated bionics factory down here somewhere. So you've got this area, which I'll try and condense down a little bit. But we've got this area for making kind of basic stuff. Component machinery, frames. And this one's, of course, got the uh, the AI chips, the drone modules. This is our automation zone. Our, our base automation zone. Now we'll start adding down some specialized stuff. Like, for example, polar bear arm mounted machine guns. What do we do first? Uh, well, the first thing I actually want to do here is just finish off our our turret, given that we are about to get a raid in 10 hours' time. So in those 10 hours, I'm hoping we can get down a couple of Vulcan cannons. Somebody asked why I don't use walls between them, because embrasures do allow some explosion through them. It does contain a little bit of damage, as we saw yesterday when the embrasure took some damage, but the turret behind it took some as well, but it's kind of equally shared. It's just how embrasures work, right? That's just what they do. So... With this, it will mitigate a little bit of damage. The person did say, why don't you build walls between them? The only problem with that is it would limit our turret's range massively. Even just giving them a solid wall here and here would, would limit their arc down to, I don't know, like a, like a 30 degree, 45 degree angle at most. With it like this, though, they've got maximum, like, like they can essentially shoot in this entire arc unhindered. Because these embrasures don't count as don't count as anything that would get in their way. So that is fine. That, that I'm still more than willing to do. And, and at the end of the day, we can produce infinite resources. But we can't produce infinite... Or we, more specifically, we can't fill this kill box with any more turrets than what we've ran in right now. So I'd rather maybe lose a couple of turrets to explosion and rebuild it. Rather than limit our turrets massively and lose the game. I, I mean, that kind of makes sense, right? Anyway, let's get these Vulcan turrets down. We've got nine hours time. We're, again, we want to expand this later on, too. We might even want many different kill boxes. What would be kind of cool is to have, like, three or four of those down one side so the enemy go into various different pods, or especially for raids that consist of multiple people. They'll always go into whatever kill box is closest. So if we got one of these on this wall, this wall, and this wall, we might be able to divide their units up somewhat. Ah, and they're finally getting work on the aluminium doors there, too. Fantastic. Now, I should point out, aluminium makes absolutely no difference to doors. I just figured in real life, it's generally quite lightweight, isn't it? So I figured it was kind of the best material for make doors out. But in real as far as I know, it makes absolutely fuck all difference. It was just something to... That made sense. And that's genuinely it. So, oh man, look at this. We've got like, lights on doors. Madness. Never heard of such a thing. Um, is this sandstone down here? This is granite tile. So let's go ahead and just try and match it as best as possible. We're probably going to end up rebuilding all of this at some stage anyway. So, not a massive deal. Right, now, one thing on my list, my, my big old list of shit that I have to work through, is there was a comment yesterday saying, build a royal bed out of copper. Somebody said they did that and ended up with a bed with like 3,000 beauty or something absurd like that. Um, we are looking in the bed section. So why don't we take a look? So we've got copper double nice bed gives a beauty of 180. Royal bed made of copper gives a beauty of... Uh, 270. You've lied to me, comment section. You've lied to me once again. But I assume they got like a masterwork or a legendary. We'll give it a go anyway. I mean, what have we got right now? Oh, right, because we've got the advanced bed. Gives all the rest bonuses. Um, we could build that out of copper instead. That wouldn't be such a big deal. So copper is a beauty of 49. Let's go for... God, I don't know. Gold? Can we... We can afford a golden advanced double bed. Oh, fuck. Beauty of 68. To be honest, it's not really worth the 1800 gold input for uh, that little extra beauty bonus, is it? And this one's got a beauty bonus of 30. So the copper is, what, better than the silver but worse than gold? 49. Oh, 49. My bad. And what was it again with gold? Uh, 68. Oh, man. Yeah, it's a lot better than silver but a lot worse than gold. I could be persuaded, but that is like the fucking height of decadence. Especially for a room he doesn't spend much time in, but it will affect his beauty, won't it? Uh, sorry, his, his mood. Because it'll be like, oh, very impressive bedroom. I mean, it's already very impressive. 
We'll see how it goes. Maybe, maybe I'll invest our gold into that, or maybe we've got a shitload of other things we can invest into. Now, we did lose a couple of robots in a prison break that kicked off, uh, one of which was, oh god, the hauling bot, Christ. Um, I don't know that we lost any people from it. I think the lady has, like, a life-threatening infection right now. Oh no, she's good. Wow. Uh, what did it get to? 34%. Oh no, she's absolutely fine. I thought she was the only one gonna die there. Now, I have also redone Sherry's operation. I rather foolishly put heart above both lungs and, and the hand and whatever else. So I put heart at the bottom. We've really got to choose whether we want the heart or the brain. Brain gives 10% to hearing sight, consciousness, and manipulation, so it's pretty fantastic. The heart just gives 150% efficiency. Well, 150% bonus. I thought that was... Part efficiency was 150%. No, it's not. It's plus 150%. That's fucking massive. Um, so blood pumping, yeah, is exactly that. 250%. Fuck me. I think I would prefer the brain. Bear in mind, the brain we could install into Voitech. We could have Voitech with Shari's mutated advanced brain with a golden eye, a cigarette in one mouth, and miniguns on both arms. I have never been more in in my life. Okay, give me that. Harvest, uh, brain, brain, brain. You know what? Might be easy to do it from here, wouldn't it? Bra brain? Br brain? We can't... Maybe I haven't got the right surgery to harvest brain yet. Whatever. We'll leave him alive for a little bit longer. We'll hack all this shit off, and then we'll, um... We'll hack all this shit off, and then we'll hit him with some more radiation. Now, I've redone the radiology based on what people suggested here. So, we've got the advanced radiation blocker. That apparently allows us to... It says there, uh... Pocker has an 80% chance to deflect radiation. Let's you select up to four body parts. Not sure what that means. We've got the radiation filter, which allows us to filter out 20% of burn radiation, 10% of all others. I wonder which we want. We want what rare radiation, right? So we can use some of the rare radiation to filter out five times the normal radiation. I mean, burn radiation isn't such a big deal because I assume then we can just heal him back up. I have no idea. Double all radiation. Fuck it. Just double it all. Jerry, it's time for your daily amount of radiation. Hang on. Uh, do I have to haul him over there? Deliver him. Deliver the radiation, boy. Uh... Oh, was that it? We just we just stick him on there and radiate. Maybe we can't irradiate him anymore. Uh oh, you know what? It's probably because he has operations queued up. Let's do it on someone else then. Lady just recovered from her injury, so she's she's a fine candidate. Get out of here. Uh Lady the Surgeon. She'll probably find the mer uh, the, the, the the merits in this. Get her over there. Oh god. Get out of there, Robo Daddy. That's not gonna mutate him. It doesn't look like it. Um <laughs> She could have been alright feeling stressed. <laughs> so is that right so we got 83 percent harmful radiation two percent so the rare radiation what we're after ah oh, i see right see i don't know if that is good blocking none i don't know how to how we adjust that um blocking none oh is that what this would do that would allow us to filter out the harmful radiation and whatnot i get it i get it okay is she all right so now i guess we'll see what happens we just, we just sit and wait and see if she's been mutated at all by it. Oh, cool. So burn radiation is the harmful radiation. Normal radiation is just normal radiation. I assume that won't hurt you at all? Okay. Um, I mean, obviously, there's radiation that, that, that has no effect, right? There's just passive radiation anyway. So that is probably fine. I'm, I'm going to assume this is how the mod works. I might actually go and look it up. I kind of wanted to be in the dark a little bit about it and try and figure it out myself. But I might have to go and look this one up, unfortunately. Use rare radiation to filter out five times the burn radiation. So if we filter out 40% of the burn radiation and 20% of the others, but we only got 1% of the... We only got 1% rare radiation anyway. You're telling me that we could... We just have to do it lots and lots and lots to make up for that? So they probably last a lot longer and there might be a high chance of getting rare radiation, but we've got to actually actively put them in a lot more. Weird. Okay. Um, and that... I guess there were no mutations... Maybe it's because she was injured. I'm not entirely sure that I've done that right. Uh, fuck it. Immediate irradiator. What is that? Oh, intermediate irradiator. Oh. Bombard them with less harmful radiation. Um. So that one probably has a, exactly what I was talking about then. So maybe a lower chance of the, of the rare mutation, but a lower chance of also developing cancers, things like that. Okay, interesting. We've got an intermediate radiation blocker. I built an advanced one because I assume that was all that was really relevant there. And we didn't get any mutations from that one. We've also got a radiation extender. So that is if we wanted to, I guess, line all of them up and just blast it through there. Yeah, with minimal dissipation, allowing you to place it. So we could put one there, and if the prisoners go on a riot, we just flood the whole room with radiation. There's something quite fun about that. Can we also use that as a weapon? If we set up, like, ten of these in a kill box... And then we turn it on as the enemies come through and we just blast them all with... Although I guess if we give them more cancers, that'll be our... that wouldn't exactly be our saving grace, would it? 
It would be a long time before that actually did any damage to him. Although that is fucking cool. Um, you can't rotate it, unfortunately. We could do a big open kill box here with a door on it. So we could just close it if the enemies are... We could close it as they're in there. So that they'll pathfind back around into this kill box, but we can still douse them with the radiation. I'm in. This is premium war crimes right now. How are we doing with our Vulcan cannon? Rubber Danny, I might need you to get this one built, my friend. Zero hours. So unless they spawn him right here, we should be able to get this other one built. Come on. What's he doing? He hauled out of the uranium we didn't need. You fucking idiot. The Triam kinship. Oh my god, that's tribal. <laughs> oh my god, that's tribal. Um, I'm not sure this is okay, but I guess we'll... I guess we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's not okay from the perspective of committing horrendous atrocities. Although, in, in our case, it is absolutely A-OK. -okay. Encouraged, if anything. Oh, no. There go the Vulcan cannon. As somebody quite rightly put in the comment section yesterday, Vulcan cannon do go burr. In fact, that's exactly what Vulcan cannons do. They never stop firing, right? Until they run out of ammo. That's fucking disgusting. Look at this. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel bad for them. Incredible. This is a beautiful sight. This fills me with such joy. This fills me with incredible joy, happiness, and pride. Pride in our robots. And pride in our robo-father. Excellent work. Look at all these prisoners. Three hours, four hours, six hours, six hours. Um, I feel like it's not even worth trying to caption. This is where we want a mass prison. Oh my god, that's exactly what we need. Hear me out. <laughs> okay, this is going to be premium, premium war crimes. Big room. Nothing but... Well, I mean, how big is the radiation extender? Uh, That big. Here's my plan, right? We put a couple of these, just like that. No, 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 no. Ran them together a bit closer. Uh, A couple of these, like... uh, Where's the kill box exit? So, like, up through here. Right, put one there, one there, one there. We stick a massive wall around the whole fucking thing. <laughs> this is horrendous. Right, and then we put down, bear with me on this one, uh, sleeping spot, sleeping spot, what would that be under? Like, structure, furniture, furniture, uh, sl sleeping spot, beds, sleeping spot, there we are. Sleeping spots here, double sleeping spots, because I don't give a fuck about conditions in this place. And just fill it with prisoners. No, wait, does that work? I think that works for medical, but I don't know if it's just for capturing prisoners, whether or not that works. Okay, right, let's go to that. Uh, let's go sleeping spot, and then we just need to capture as many as possible. Right, we just capture as many as possible, and then we flood the whole fucking thing with as much radiation as we can manage. And then the ones that survive it and get mutations that are good, we bring them into another facility to be to be dissected. This is genius. This is absolutely genius. I've done, I've outdone myself this time. We're gonna need more ER base stations if this is gonna work. Uh ER, 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 ER base station, base station, base station. Uh oh my god, did I not I didn't research it. Oh no. Because there's no way in the hell one dude is going to be able to... Okay, get this reinstalled. No, that's Robo Daddy's personal Robo system. We don't want that. Um, we've got one in this prison by the by the showers. Let's go ahead and install that out there. Hopefully they can be in the rain without blowing up. You know what? Just to be safe then. Why don't we install it in here? Because that's still somewhat convenient. In fact, we can put all the bots in here. That makes sense. That's why we built this thing after all, right? Then we go ahead and capture as many fucking prisoners as is humanly possible. Three hours, five hours. So you're pretty much guaranteed. Right, go. Capture them. Oh, no one reserved prisoner bed. Bollocks. So we've got to wait for this to be built first. Okay, this time around it might not work. But next time, next time it almost certainly will. So how do we do this then? How does it, how do the radiation extenders work? Uh, we have to use a radiators behind them, I assume? And we just blitz it, blitz it down there like that? I have no idea if this is right, but you know what? I love it. Uh, and then I just activate it, yeah? We just hit the test run button or something like that? Launch radiation process to work without pawns to receive radiation. So will that just, will that just go? Okay, I think that's all we need then, isn't it? That, that kind of imply that that's all we need. Let's put that there. No radiation blockers and filters on this one. Unnecessary, thank you. Oh, I almost put down the wrong radiator then. Good lord. Right, so we need uranium components and steel. That one is steel components, steel components, steel. We also need advanced components and plasteel. Right, so this one is going uh, steel output. Perfect. And then we want uranium. Uh, uranium. And then on this one, we want components, just for the timing. Then I'll build another one for advanced components, but we'll we'll have that only draw a small amount from it. Let's see if this Glitter War Trader have the spawners that we need. We haven't really checked too many, because I keep forgetting about it, to be honest with you. Uh, fibrous mech injector? Come on. Armor module? Turret module? Vanometric power cell module? It's kind of cool. Very expensive. Um, right. Here, here we go. Here we go. Mega screen television? Not really what we're after here, Chief. 
antimatter rifle I'm just going to buy so we can take it apart for its antimatter components. I think that's a good idea. Um, medical system, advanced power arms. Yes, give me that. Medical liver, give me that. Architect drawer, is that also part of, yep, medical system? Give me that one too. What's a food nullifier? Um, the artificial stomach is similar to a nuclear stomach but eliminates hunger and has no risk of causing cancer. Uh, never eat food again. It's 12,000. We never, never want to eat food again because he gets a bonus from... He obviously gets a bonus from eating human flesh. So, I think we'll probably keep that. And fuck it, let's buy a load of side trainers too. You know, they might come in handy one day. Well, actually, someone asked me to do this to get the ibuprofen, the penoxicillin, the flu easy for getting rid of, uh... Again, flu and, and sort of uh, illnesses and whatnot. We might as well do that, particularly when we're in a position, obviously, to do that. Um, I don't think that's really... I don't think I want anything else here. Because we want to start making tortoises, except instead of shells, they've got, you know, plastic explosives, for example, strapped to them. That wouldn't be too bad. For now, though, we'll just take that. Thank you. I bought a shitload of glitter medicine there just to, you know, try and keep Rubber Daddy alive a little longer. How's this turret cut off? Oh, because I... Right, okay, because of course we're not really using it much anymore. Well, let's install around this side. That'd be a bit more convenient. Yes. <laughs> yes, it's so good. Okay. Um, I'm hoping they can't walk past these. And then we've got IO output here, which is why they're able to obviously do it a lot quicker. We'll probably also put storage facility for the organs that we managed to get out of them too. Uh, just because I figured we're kind of keeping it all nicely on brand there. Wow, this is, this is fucked up. This might be peak crime in RimWorld. This, this is it. Like, mass irradiating a room of prisoners for just purely for the experimental purposes is fucked up. I think we're at the phase now where we can kind of afford to turn this one into a pure military settlement. So replace things like the quarry for anything that will help out with military instead. Automated defense systems, absolutely what I'm after right here. Um, and then we could drop all the workers off. Now ah, the workers are fine as they are. We could go for, like, um, weapon production and then tithe it and then see if we get antimatter weaponry from that. Or alternatively, we go all, all into research. But this is definitely going to be our military outpost. Ah, there we are. Our output port was working perfectly then. So all of the body parts from those guys, we just are... Oh, man, that's so cool. So that's all stored in there now. All of the things that we obviously don't want to rot. We've got a load of corpses in there. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm in. Um, we need an output, don't we, into the, into the meat grinder. So ideally, we need an output from the meat grinder into the I.O. port. Uh, so why don't we go... That's preferred. And then we do an output port on this one. This one is an output port. But that's outputting it, outputting it from, like, the main storage grid into a specifically a cold freezer. Um, obviously, with a much higher priority, too. And then we'll output from that one to a critical priority next to the meat grinder. Oh, God. What the fuck are we doing? Man, we've got corpses being downloaded from a machine into this to then be blitzed apart. My God, what a mess. There's so much stuff everywhere. We've got a brain. We've got toes. Is that really how far the autopsy goes? It goes right down to each separate fucking toe. We might have to start blitzing up body parts. Uh, mince organs, mince limbs, do forever, do forever, and then say... Um, yeah, okay, so it's automatically defaulting to boring, disgusting, fleshy limbs. Get rid of it. And then that input is for clothes as well. So basically, we've got corpses going into the network, being pulled out and put into the storage freezer. They're being pulled out of the storage freezer when necessary to go on the... And to go on the meat hook, we could always remove the meat hook as well. Um, but that's obviously for after they're butchered and whatnot. Then after they are butchered, because that's why we want to store them in there. Because corpses with barnics don't immediately get butchered. So we want to put them in there until they're butchered. And then we... Uh, sorry. Until they're dissected for their barnics to go on the meat hook to go into the butchery. Uh, and then that takes the clothes and obviously puts them back to the network to be recycled automatically. We've got a full corpse processing facility going on here. And I've never been more proud. More exotic goods traders. Okay. Frostbound behemoth. Uh, oh, it's just a big bug. Does that say Jedi love this? What the fuck was that? Jedi love this milk. What? Uh, bluish liquid that can be... Oh, haha, <laughs> get it? Because that Star Wars movie that was bad. Okay, uh, right, okay. Give me some ibuprofen. Some yayo. You selling yayo on my turf? What else we got? What I'm really after is, again, obviously, this, this spawn is the drones. That's all I really give a shit about here. Okay, all the way at the bottom. Copper large statue. That looks cool. With a gun at the marina. Oh, that's fucking awesome. 355. Consider that sold. Um, what about this one? Of the big naked lady. 715. Give me that. It's absolutely sold. Pikeman Assembler. Oh my god, we've actually found one. Oh my god, we've actually got one at long last. This is me distracted by the big fucking statues. 
Um, buy a telescope or buy a mega screen television. Why not? These guys have earned, earned the money. Advanced endoskeleton stimulator. Whoa, okay. Arcotech brain? Arcotech brain. 100 and... Uh, what's the efficiency? Efficiency. Body part efficiency. Oh, that was efficiency. 150%. Manipulation plus 10%. Sure. Okay. Uh, auxiliary AI. We've got advanced power claws here. And I assume that's all medical system expanded. It absolutely is. Wow. These guys have been... These guys have been incredibly good. Ceiling foam canisters. Refined sleeping gas canisters. We hit a shitload of people attacking with that. We knock them unconscious. We drag them to the radiation facility. And then we crank it up. I'm in. Give me the combat. Just give me it all. Just... I'll, I'll take the lot. We have actually almost taken the lot here. 46,000... Why not? I mean, it's going to re uh, reduce a little bit amount of wealth as well. Bear in mind that they are not going to be selling us at market value. So this is going to deal with some of our excess colony wealth, which we have a lot of excess colony wealth right now. Uh, you got any more glitter world medicine? I could definitely do with that. Yeah, perfect. No silver left for Robo Daddy, but look at all this shit. Incredible. Get this large statue in the in the lab. Get the naked lady statue in the lab as well. Perfect. Um, <laughs> fuck, what have I done? This is insane. Uh, he needs to start getting himself a living room, to be fair. All he's got to do for recreation right now is play chess and punch a punch a dummy. I feel like we, we're a bit past that at this point. Watch TV with the nice hum of machines full of corpses. Incredible. Uh, let's get our telescope set up outside as well. And that's basically it. And then, of course, the pipe assembler. I guess that can go in the factory. That seems completely on brand. Let's put it down here. This could be mechanoid corner. When it says pipeman, I assume it means the actual mechanoid pipeman, right? That would be awesome if that's the case. We, we get pikemen every three days. Is that it? So this seems to me, as I say, Arcotech weapons. Wow, does this seem, this seems to me where we should start getting on what the hack a little bit. Because if they work together, if that is just a pikeman for all intents and purposes, what the hack is going to allow us to control them? Because there is a mechanoid control boat included. So Robo Daddy might finally be able to contribute to combat. Turns out by installing these so close, I missed something quite cool. So I was just checking the Antimatter Annihilation Steam Workshop page to see if there was anything I'd missed. Um, but that's what I wanted to show off. Because that is very, very... Oh, no. Build a bar 10. <laughs> that's quite funny. But that's really nice. It's nice just to get a little bit of a little bit of extra. You know, they didn't need to do that. But it does make it feel a step above some of the other remote mods that we've seen that had these kind of crazy power plants. It's just, just a nice little animation, really. Oh, my fucking robots. They keep walking in front of the beam. They've got no idea what they're doing. They're getting themselves all killed. Build a bot. Oh, is that annihilating the... I see. That's why it's called antimatter annihilation. You can't build one there. It's just getting destroyed immediately by the beam. Oh, that's a shame. Um, how is that not powered though? This one, I need to reconnect it. I assume. Uh, hey, there we go. Good, good, good. So that's just for them to very quickly get out the, get out the antimatter. Oh, I forgot that we even started that. Holy shit, Alina. Set lover target. She's removing her thermal wrapping. Now that is what I like to see. Wearing armor? No, 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 no. I don't think you understand. Your job here is to not wear clothes. Give me some. Let's tidy up those floors too, because they're a fucking mess. Let's go for. We can just set set lover. Robo daddy. Set robo daddy. Oh, did that work? Needs health bio. Oh my god. <laughs> um social. Friend. Robo Daddy. No no no. You need to you need to love. You must love. How do I put let's put him in the same room. Hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Set owner. Her as well. Perfect. So I guess she loves him, but he doesn't love her. Uh in fact they haven't even met yet. Now we'll design a real battle waifu, because I know a lot of people want that, but then like I said, we're not gonna be we're not gonna be just churning them out here. We're just gonna have a couple and that's about it. So what do we want then? Let's start uh, over on this side. So we want drum mentality or lover mentality. Um, we don't want either, I, I think. We don't want either, right? That lowers social or global learning. Um, that one just makes them a lover, but their capability to work and learn stuff is fine. Physique. Perfect physique gives moving manipulation so they can teleport behind them. Nothing personnel, kid. That gives them sharp, blunt, melee dodge chance. That could be quite useful. We've got Hulk. Which gives manipulation carrying capacity. That seems more for manipulation, obviously. Moves be melee dodge chance. Oh, wow. Uh, that one gives armor. So I'm going to go for perfect physique. Skin. We've got the choice of dragon scales. Gives them maximum heat temperature. Good God. We've got plasteel skin. Uh, gives sharp, blunt, and heat resistance quite significantly. Or hyperweave. Sharp, blunt, heat. Uh, I think I'm going to go for plasteel skin. Oh, God. This is getting expensive. Fuck me. Proficiency. Fighting. Yeah. 
fighting a medical because we want her to be ideally a medical bot as well to tend to tend to robo father uh and then utility vanometric cell negates the need for food and energy give me that uh needs 15 advanced components fuck mechanite hive periodically tends to inflicted colon uh, coolant leaking wounds done Needs six glitter world medicine. Oh my god. Utility, obviously the black box. And then psychic attunement. Oh wow. Does that mean we could potentially give them all of those psych casts I just bought? Genius. We've got Arcotech Tech Prof module. Installs a secondary AI, which is a bit unnecessary. And then we've also got the Arcotech module. Needs two advanced components and one persona core. Oh wow. Global learning factor and global work speed. Holy shit. Okay. So now, let's go a bit crazy on it. So we want to make sure. So so first identity is combat, preferably. Combat model, right. Okay, what are the other options? Soldier, android. What's the difference between combat, and soldier, android, and, and combat model? So combat model. Oh, there's no description. Okay, fair enough. So they seem fairly similar. Um, combat model. There's double passion there. Uh, let's just keep, keep rolling it until I get a feeling for what this actually does. So around anywhere between sort of 8 to... 13 in shooting a melee and then soldier android gives artistic soldier android gives between 7 and 11 by the looks of it. i think we've got to go combat model um and then for our secondary identity we could go for what's well, like war engineer oh yeah okay i'm in on that i'm not sure whether this make it melee or shooting or just fucking both sharpshooter oh shit 18 double passion with 18 wow I think I might just stick with that, you know, not not upset the apple cart too much. So it's got nine medical too. Yeah, okay. And then it, it's medical we can obviously learn an, o, over time. Blood lost, naturally. Oh, when you add traits, it rerolls it. Fuck, okay, fine. Um, that's because not our definitely dodger. Sluggish, fast learner, not too bad. Um, great memory is, is also pretty fantastic. Uh, we've got to go jogger. And given that this thing is going to be sentient because we've got an AI Persona Core, I assume Iron Willed would also be fairly relevant here. Um, industrious? Sure, why not? Although that's probably not necessary if it's just a combat model though, right? Oh well. Um, what else have we got here? We're looking for like uh, Bloodlust would be a pretty fantastic one. We've already got Bloodlust, right? Got it. We're going to have Marksman, Crackshot, and Careful Shooter. Fuck. That's insane. Um, so we've got obviously Jogger, Iron Willed, Industrious. I might remove Industrious because she's not going to exactly be doing much working, is she? And we've got, like, Fast Hands. What does Fast Hands do? Global Work Speed. Oh, right. It's just a good Work Speed bonus. Sorry. I thought it was something to do with shooting here. Um, Android, Nanak, Prosthetics, Borg, Hive Mind, Borg, blah, blah, blah. Natural Genius, Decent Learner. I feel like one of the learning skills would be the most helpful. Um, maybe we go with, like, a Great Memory, perhaps? Oh, it's, it's a hard choice, isn't it? Holy shit. Unstoppable. See, I don't know if Android's already... If, if Android's feel pain, Unstoppable would be the ultimate one. Um, masochist in combat. Give it more mood as it's dying. Definitely Dodger. I mean, Nimble as well to avoid melee characters would be pretty ideal. Tough. Shit, this is such a hard choice. Um, Master Medic even to, to help... To help with the tending would be pretty good as well. What does Master Medic actually do? Medical plus four. Operation speed minus 20%. Success chance, 10 speed, 10 quality. Wow, that's so good. Let's see if we can get... So what's the highest skill we can get? I've seen 18. We've got 19 double passion there. That might have been the best one we could have hoped for. Let's go 19 double passion again if we can get it. Come on. We've got 18 double passion there. 16. Fuck. 19 single passion. Ugh, no. K push it. We've got to make sure this is the perfect Android... Battle waifu. And we get it all the crazy arm. We give it all the crazy weaponry. It's melee skill. I mean, ideally, if we... Oh, there it is. Wow. D double passion. 19 shooting. With 11 medical with a passion in it as well. How long is it going to take to print this thing? One quadrum. <laughs> oh, my God. Um. Well, shit. Yeah, I'm up for that. 54 advanced components. 6 glitter world medicine. 1 persona core. Yikes. Uh, and if I give it anything else now, obviously, it's going to reroll the skills again. So, I think we're going to stick with that. Um, Alessia Girard. That sounds like an Oblivion character. So, we're not going to name you that. I'm going to call you... Um, what's that fucking... What's that, uh, that manga and also that film that came out recently? It's like Alita Battle Angel or something like that. I'm not going to call it that because it was a fucking awful film. Um, I'm going to call you... Man, I haven't got any ideas at all. We had... 
Sharamus. Sharamus, the mighty cyber orc from last series. What about Sharam... Sharamissus? Sharamissus. As in, as in, you know, like the missus, like, like, the, like a female, female lady, what you're married to. Sharon missus. I'm in, I'm, I'm in. Uh, character's last name. R Robo mummy. Ro Robo mummy. Ro Robo, Robo nanny. Because this won't be the Robo mummy, so this one's like the Robo nanny, right? Got it, I'm in. 19 shooting, 11 medical, print that shit. That's expensive. That's hideously, hideously expensive. Immediately, really? <laughs> Immediately hitting the juice. Been alive all of about three hours and alive's already too much. Brilliant. Okay. Um, Kremazon Warehouse. We got that going for us. I, again, I'm trying to turn those guys away from just pure profit because it's gonna it's gonna fuck the difficulty up so much, isn't it? My God. I think at this point we can afford to get rid of the electric art furnace. So let's do exactly that. Let's move the autopsy table into this room here. Why don't we turn this into a hospital? A lot of people were complaining I didn't have a dedicated hospital, so this would be kind of the ideal place for it. So let's go ahead and kind of set that up as best we can. Do we even have any hospital bed stuff at all? Crypto sleep suspender. We've got an operating table. That's it, man. Um, I do, I do like this though. <laughs> I, I don't really want to turn off any of this because this is pretty good. Uh, I guess we could build. Obviously, we don't even have sterile equipment, which is another thing actually on my list of things to address. Sterile materials for the research bonus would be pretty massive, but then we've also got the bonus of being able to use it as a hospital. So we'll do that at some stage. Um, let me just go through my. The things that I was supposed to do. So the floors are done. Uh, the laser cannon, of course. The, uh, the 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 waifu orbital cannon. The Mega Man cannon. That we do need to get around to building at some point. The only downside to that is, and this is exactly why I checked the workshop page, to be honest, is that we need a lot more of the antimatter. What is it? The antimatter composite, which I assume we get from the alloy fusion machine. I have no idea how the hell we get antimatter composite, to be honest with you. Um... We've been getting it from smelting down the weapons of enemies, but I assume there's a better way to do it. There's just nothing on the antimatter list. Um, I'm not missing anything, am I? No, that's we've we've built everything we possibly can. I haven't seen like any anything that could change that. So I guess we just gotta wait till we build this thing, then maybe we can make our own antimatter composite. Created in the composite refiner. Oh. Okay. Composite refiner. Droid fabricator, hand printer, blah 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 blah. Bonnet machining table. We need one of those. Let's go ahead. I was gonna be the next thing I was gonna work on anyway, so we might as well put that down now. Um let's also get rid of that. I feel like we're a bit past that stage. Um bonnet machining table. Architect fabrication bench. Hello. Okay. Uh let's get one of those as well. Obviously, we could just hook up the data disk to these and install it all into the other thing anyway. Um composite fabricator. Uh okay, Com composite. Antimatter composite. Oh, we haven't researched it. Uh, oh my god, there's loads of stuff. You big stink. Piss, it was there all along. Are you kidding me? I thought we had to smelt down all the weapons from our enemies. Oh, well, fuck this then. Let's get working on that first. And then, you know what? We'll take a, we'll take a hard left turn and we'll go into the hospital next. Because if there's no point making all of these bionics and these modules if we haven't got a hospital to install them in, right? So let's go Glitter World Hospital Bed. Let's go for... Actually, no. We worked out last time that the regular hospital bed is better because the Glitter World Hospital Bed doesn't hook up to all the crazy extra shit we've got added by the vanilla expanded mod. Things like the, the surgery tools and whatnot. Let's go Surgical Instruments, Vitals, Monitor. Uh, there should be a lamp somewhere too. Uh, I love lamp. Where is that? Surgical lamp. There we are. Instant flick. Damn, is it Friday already? I'm actually somewhat tempted to double up on some of these cannons. Uh, yeah, double up on these cannons and then reinstall... Or not reinstall, but specifically get another get another Vulcan cannon here. Just because these Vulcan cannons with a direct line of sight on the enemy are going to be able to pepper them. Problem with these ones right now is they're coming at an angle, so they're going to hit the wall behind it and rip apart the walls. So I think moving them up here, not moving them, but building some fresh ones up here would be... I think, I think that would be pretty useful. And then maybe even get some slug turrets down. So maybe double up all of these. Uh, and then get... How has that happened? Is it not the same size on both sides? Oh, huh? what have I done wrong? Hold on, planning. Oh fuck. Uh, excuse me. What is that? Eleven blocks? Oh no. What is this side? Eleven blocks. What have I done wrong? Help me. Uh, I've I've lost my mind. I've I've lost my mind. What? Oh, it's just we had a we had an extra turret on this side. I see. Okay. Then just for any enemies that do get through, I've built those within the radius of the other two shredder turrets so that if they manage to get past this chokehold, we've got a few more shredder turrets set up and basically ready to rip them apart if they do break through. I figured that wasn't a terrible idea. Just kind of a last, last final attempt to control the enemies getting through into the base. Aha. Okay. 
Right, so the antimatter composite has been finished. Is that under... My god, there we are. Composite refiner. Okay. Well, let's go and put it in this room. Obviously, we've got to put it in this room, right? This is the, this is the antimatter facility. Um, put it, I guess, over here. We've got a couple of those down, right? Fuck it. Yeah, why not? Let's put one there. And then... Oh, that's trying to show, I guess, that anything within that beam will be incinerated. Fair enough. Let's put one there, and we'll put one... Actually, let's move that up slightly. There we are. Wow, look at that thing. Oh, shit. Oh, oh wow, that's insane. Architect melee platform module. Ah. Um... Advanced platform module, power arm module, power claw module, a PCA arm CR. What is that? Artificial weapon arm built by Architect, strong enough to cr crush a thick hardwood branch with its hand. Uh, it also ha it also have mounted charge rifle weapon only, but has half stats over normal charge rifle weapon. Me too. Um, we've got CL, so charge lance, charge rifle, charge rifle light, uh, and then we've got CLB. What the hell's a CLB? Charge lance. Boy, I have no idea. Uh, wow, fuck. I don't know what the hell to install first. This is like, this right here is burden of choice. I don't know where the fuck to begin. This is all just boring old, ah, oh, this is all boring weak shit. We don't need any of this garbage when we've got this stuff, right? Surely this is just an immediate upgrade. Well, let's take a look. Uh, so top of this one, architect eye. Uh, we've got bionic eye there. That gives plus one percent to everything, 125% efficiency. Whereas the architect gives... Plus 2% to everything and 150% efficiency. Okay, fair enough. So what is this? Oh, you install it into the clavicle slot. So we need to make all of the Arcotech stuff first. Um, and then you can install it to a foot module slot. Oh, right. I see. So we want to ignore the, the Arcotech modules. We want to just make the Arcotech stuff. Um, and then install the modules into it afterwards, I think. Man, this is just this is insane. Okay. So I'll make all the architect gear, which comes with module slots, correct? Um some requires requires architect surgery. Oh, maybe not. Maybe architect arms with the modules have you can install it to arm module slot. See, that implies to me that we make the architect arm, which may or may not have module slots. I assume they all do. And then you install these into it afterwards, but maybe this is like an upgrade to a regular oh, but that requires an architect radius. So what does it do then? It just gives it an upgrade? Oh yeah, 4% manipulation. Oh, I see. Right, okay. So I'm getting a little bit confused here because they all have kind of vague names. But that's more of an upgrade module than just a... Because the way it sounds, Architect Radius module is kind of an upgrade for something that's not Architect to turn it into something that is Architect. So say you had an advanced bar and a you install that thing into it, give it a bonus. But that actually... Radius module. Oh, maybe it actually fucking is. I don't know. Uh, maybe it is an upgrade. Maybe it's not. Who cares? <laughs> we'll work it out later. Antimatter composite refineries are almost finished. Boom, there we go. Um, so you, oh, you just fill them with plasteel and antimatter, and they just, they just go. Oh, sweet. And then every six hours, you get yourself some, some composite. Oh, fantastic. Okay, maybe we should build a shitload of those then. Um, well, let's build three, three on that wall and three on the other wall. Obviously, why not? Doesn't really hurt. Let's make a, an Arcotech leg. I'm going to install that into Voitech. If that's got module slots, I assume then we install the, the leg upgrades and bonuses and whatnot. So, for example, we make the uh, range platform module. We install it into his leg. Out of his leg pops a, a charge rifle, right? But then there's also the leg modules, which I assume give bonuses to the leg if installed in the leg. That's how I'm understanding it right now. Um, so, let's go. Let's just type in leg. Oh, or not. So, why are there certain modules but not others? Uh, like clavicle module, arm module, humerus module... Radius module just gives manipulation plus four percent. Maybe I am understanding it correctly. I've fucking no idea at this point. Tow modules? Yeah, I guess that's what you'd probably want to install. And what is that? It gives moving two percent. Weird. So what you're telling me is the architect like doesn't have toes, perhaps, and then you install them afterwards. Either way, we'll see it. We'll see how it goes from this. Our sterile material research is done, which means we can now start work on, at long last, episode 50 of this series, or whatever the fuck we're up to right now. We can now start work on our uh, hospital. What do we got? Uh, hospital bed? Hospital bed? Hospital bed. Somewhere in here is a hospital bed. There we are. Um, let's go out of tasty, tasty silver. Um, should we just put it smack bang in the middle of the room? I think we're only going to want one hospital bed, aren't we? Sure, there we are. And then what can we hook up to that? So we've got surgical instruments. We've got surgical lamp. 
let's put one that way around. We've got a wardrobe, which I guess we'll make out of silver as well. And we'll stick that somewhere over here. So it still hooks up, but not exactly right in the way. Um, same with the dresser. We'll put it up there. And then the end table needs to be adjacent to the bed. So we'll put that one there, I guess. Um, vitals monitor is fine to go there. Oh, fuck. This is going to be a little bit cramped in hindsight. Um, vitals monitor we'll put, we'll put there. I guess that makes some sense. No, because the doctor won't be able to actually get to the fucking surgery table at that point. All right, let's put it put it there then. IV drip. Uh, we want to put that one there. And what are we lacking here? Oh, get rid of that and replace it with the illuminated end table. Uh, silver, please. There we are. Uh, so we've got vitals monitor. Yes, we've got vital center. We've got surgical instruments. We've got surgical amp. That's everything. And then they've got one slot to be able to actually operate them on. Perfect. Oh, friendly pikeman. So you are actually a mechanoid for all intents and purposes. Interesting. Does that mean we can do... Shut down, shut down, install eye patch, install cargo module. Yeah, that's it. Oh my god, and we can give mechanoids bionics. That sounds horrible. Install armor module, architect brains. We can inject them with Borg nanites, which would be very confusing. Um, wow. So we could actually start getting into what the heck, because we have a we have a, a spawner. This is basically what I've been waiting on, but I didn't realize it turned out just essentially mechanoids. These things don't do much by themselves, and I believe we can't even make them really move around too much, can we? Do they count as robots? Oh, they do count as mechanoids. Um... Can't even set an area for them. Oh. Uh. Yikes. Yeah, they don't even come under the robot area. So we can't do anything with them. They just wander around. So this is where we'd have to use what the heck to control them. I guess it would make more sense in that case to put the pipeman assembler somewhere over here. Right? I'll put, I'll put it like round this corner so it's sheltered, but the mechanoids are still able to free roam. Speaking of which, we've got. Oh my god, the Triam kinship again. Vengeance, I assume, for last time. They're using sappers. Are they really? I thought four blocks was enough to shut them down. Ah, the things I have to do, huh? <laughs> I love that I clicked that button and just immediately, they all died. They all died. Humpty Dumpty died horribly in a mortar shell. <laughs> I don't know why they brought me such joy, but that was fucking awesome. Thank you, awesome mortar. Many episodes of doing fuck all you've immediately made up for in a single shot. Um, and now we'll watch as they panic trying to dig through our- You fucking idiot. They try and panic and dig through our wall as the auto mortar gets ready. Another shell. Come on, how are we looking? Three, two, one. Kill them all. Oh, it's so good. It's so immediate. That's what I love about it. It just takes it a second for the for the shell to fly over. And all these guys dying. Does that mean I can't fill out my- That means I can't fill out my radiation prison. Damn it. <laughs> okay, then we're done. Thank you. Um, it genuinely might be quicker to capture them by- taking apart these walls at this stage. Let's go ahead and allow all, and let's try and capture whoever we can. Right, go. Capture. No, 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 not strip, not strip. Uh, capture, capture, capture dog. Can't capture dog. Un no unreserved, un what? No, unreserved enclosed prisoner in a safe temperature. What's wrong with this room? What, what about, like, literally right here, brother? Oh, is it because I've limited her to a particular area? We're right, unrestricted then. Let's see if that works instead. Um... Capture dog. Yeah, that's done it. Have we got one that's not bleeding out in... Oh, there we are. There we are. So, Camus Atoll. Capture. Robodaddy Capture. Who have we got here? Five hours. I want to actually get someone that we can keep alive. Four hours. Four hours. Two hours. Five hours. Wolverine. Get him. Capture Wolverine. This is this is 10 out of 10. Fuck. Damn it. So, we got three from that one. Uh, he got put in here. So, I'm going to go ahead and just remove this bed and then capture him in the other place instead. As much as I would love to fill this with... Where did you put him? Oh, up there. As much as I would love to fill this place with prisoners, I feel like the chance of us actually succeeding with that is going to be very, very slim. Why don't we give... <laughs> Why don't we put everybody but, like, Lady and Shari in, in one prison? Because they're the only two I really give give a shit about here. Um, let's just get rid of the rest of them. Let's, let's go ahead and haul those back over to prison 2.0. Okay, we definitely have to stop here. We definitely have to stop here. I just noticed how long we've actually been playing for, and to be honest, I've, I've got a little bit carried away with the war crimes today. My bad. I just got I just got too into it, you know. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned tomorrow to where we flood a prison with a shitload of radiation and maybe Robo Waifu 2.0 will be born depending on how long we actually manage to pass tomorrow. Stay tuned.
Oh, Wojtek, the cybernetic solar, be solar bear? Maybe, depending on what we install into him. Maybe he will be a solar bear. Thank you to Arctic, Siphon, Buen Gun, Siala, Scorch, Sarabi, Oliver, Harik, Wilson and Seth, Goatfather, Kenan Carter, Angelo, Tyler Kendall, Under the Couch, Bobcat, and everyone else at the insane top tier level one Patreon for going to the top level of support for the channel. So a big thank you to these guys, without which we would almost certainly not be here today committing atrocities in the name of, haha, <laughs> comedy, please don't demonetize me. Thank you as well to Gaz. Thank you as well to Shlomo, Demon X Jester, Adrian Aliasson, Genji Zerka, Kane GB, Shuttle Dirt, Zega the Chaos King, Jackson P, Astro, Cody Cope, Matteo, Will Wade, Magister Militant, Monica Vargas, Harry Self, Danny, Moira Valkyrie, Talar, Mason Fireblast, Mythomatic, and of course all the other patrons as well for Remote Music? Is that still going? <laughs> for their support over at Patreon as well.